still trying to beat Master Lee Candela with Yanma. More thousand under thousand CP. I got the fighting move set I needed against Infernape. I need to get this first ancient power boost or two back to back. With two back to back I can one hit KO Moltres. I will shield if necessary. Uh, it's possible to beat the first two without boosts, but it is unlikely that I will make it to the last one. Because I would need this to be a boost and the next one to be a boost. And then also to finish off. Okay, there's one boost. And then I also need to finish off Moltres with an Ancient Power. Okay, this might be doable. I need it to use a charge move so that I, I think I did it. So that I can shield, get the free energy, I should be able to one hit KO Moltres now. I'm glad I keep kept trying. So I'm going to do two quick attacks. One, two, could have tried for a third. I don't think I need it though. We'll find out. Yep, got Moltres. So I did this in response to both. I have did it before the stat boost and before the energy cap. Um, but also somebody did it. Beat one of the Master League people with just a power-up Metasham, which seemed extremely excessive and not much of a challenge. Um, this was partially RNG. Because the, the boost is inconsistent, but it's just more to show that it's possible to beat these leaders with lower CPs um, and also less OP Pokemon in general. Um, the main thing is knowing the mechanics which haven't changed except for now there's a 100 energy cap whereas there used to be no 100 energy cap for uh, training specifically there's always been an energy cap for pvp thanks hope somebody enjoyed this bye